developing inner game is everything. I, I, I would say developing inner game starts before anything else. I would say before you actually like learn the game of mastering a woman, you have to have mastery of self. That's that inner game right there. So, I mean, the time that you take on that, it's like, it's the same time. No, it, it's more important than the time you, well, I wouldn't say it's more important than the time you take learning a skill, but it's similar. It, it's, uh, it has its, what do you call it? It's an equitable level of ability and skills that you need to learn and actually to circumnavigate the world. And a lot of people always think that game is only about women. Now, nah, game helps you in, in, in your entire life, in your social circles, in your, in your work. You know, a British guy said it best. I was living in London and he said, and um, all our jobs got sent to India. I was working in a tech company. And he said, this guy right here, he said, this American guy, he says, I ain't said a word to him. I said, but I guarantee you, if he gets the interview and you get the interview, he's going to get the job because these guys are just dynamic in interviews. And it's true. You know, uh, we just, you know, that comes from a different type of mentality, behavior, mindset and everything. But it goes just beyond the superficial. You know, I mean, I'm personally not a make it to your fake type of guy. I mean, if that's what you got to do, do it. But um, yeah, that congruence, that inner congruence. That's it, man. That's everything. It would change your life. Mm -hmm. Ray, uh, you want to talk about it? Yeah, <clears throat> I don't really look at it as inner game. I look at it as, you know, um, you set your frame, you live by your frame, and your frame comes from your values and your beliefs and how you exhibit those. Uh, and I, I think that gives you, if you internalize that at a young age, that gives you confidence. And, you know, game comes, you know, most game comes from your ability to uh, set yourself apart, step out from society's norms and live your life the way you want to live your life. And that's what that's what a lot of women see in guys like us. They see this guy that doesn't break the rules, but he doesn't live by the rules either. He makes his own rules. And, you know, we all operate within society norms to some extent, but the guy that, the guy that sits out and like, and, and that's, that's, it's an American attitude too, because, you know, we separated ourselves from what was known as the, the proper society at the time, you know, 200 plus years ago. What happens now is with all this mass media and everything, we've allowed every, every other society to infiltrate us. And then, you know, that empowered women to stop thinking about men as being men in, in the sense that, you know, a man has his own innate need and drive to be himself and to do what he's supposed to do. And that's where game comes from. Game is being able to take yourself and work within someone else's area and pull them into you. That's about that's what you're doing when you're when you're talking to women. You're pulling them into your frame. You're pulling them into what you want to, them to experience with you. You know, so I don't I don't really look at it as inner game. I look at it as this way I live my life. And you know, and I don't even look at it as game. I look at it as, you know, the world of the world of wraith at the moment. And that's how I live my life. But you know, like I said, I understand that we have to we have to put titles on stuff and we have to classify stuff. So I guess inner games is good as good as anything else. But in reality, it's about being yourself, setting your terms, living by your values, and being who you want to be.